Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Google Nexus 5 smartphone. And it works pretty well running Android 4.4 KitKat out of the box, but I wanted to unlock the bootloader, uh, install custom recovery, and root the device. And the reason I like to do those things when I first get the device is because uh, unlocking the bootloader is actually going to wipe all of the data. So if you have a bunch of apps and other data in here, it's just going to disappear. So it's a good idea to do that from the get-go if you think you might want to do it down the road. And reasons you might want to do it include being able to make a complete backup of your device using custom recovery or um, install custom ROMs. Now, I've already gone through these steps, so my bootloader is already unlocked, so some of these steps might be a little bit faster in this demo than they are in, uh, in your experience. But um, I shot a video earlier that didn't come out quite perfectly. So first we're going to go ahead and power down the device, and then we need to get it into bootloader mode could be a little tricky sometimes, but basically press and hold the power and both volume buttons at the same time, and this is what you should see. Next we're going to go ahead and plug it into the computer, and I've got CF Auto Root installed on this computer. There's a couple of different tools that you can use. Uh, I like CF Auto Root because it's going to uh, root the device and unlock the bootloader at the same time. So I've downloaded it from uh, Chainfire's uh, website and their instructions at the XDA Developer Forum. You can also find some more at lilliputing.com. And now that the device is plugged in and it's in fast boot mode, we're just going to type root windows bat and it should do the work for us. We're going to press any key to continue. Now it says the device is already unlocked, which is true. But if all goes according to plan, we're going to go here and it's going to push your root files. So it unlocks the bootloader, pushes root, and then should reboot your device. As I mentioned, my bootloader was already unlocked, but I performed a factory reset before starting this. So um, everything that's happening is sort of happening in real time. Okay, so here we are, and if that went right, we've got super SU, which shows that we are, in fact, rooted. Now, the next thing I want to do is go back to bootloader mode, and this time we're going to install TeamWin Recovery Project, or TWRP. Um, now, the instructions on the TeamWin website as of November 6th say that you can just download an app called Goo Manager from the Play Store and use that to install this. I found that it didn't work as of November 6th. It might work later, that's usually the easiest way to go. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is navigate to the directory where I downloaded the uh, open recovery image file and where I've got Fastboot installed. Now you can install the complete Android SDK or an all-in-one utility or anything that basically has fast boot. So um, again, you can find some more steps at lilliputing.com. It's the sort of thing that's a little bit tough to go over in a video. If you've ever rooted the phone before, if you've ever used fast boot before, then hopefully you've already got these tools. Uh, but in this case, we're going to go into the tools directory, make sure that everything was there. It is. And we're going to type fast boot flash recovery open recovery and make sure that it's the hammerhead version and before we hit enter I have to get back to fast boot mode so let's go ahead and power off turn off my speaker so that you're not distracted by those hangouts alerts and let's try this again didn't work sometimes I find it helps to unplug it first let's go ahead and power off Powered off. Trying to reboot. Let's just go ahead and let it boot. Power down. And try again. There we go. Plug in. 
And since I already typed everything, I just need to hit enter, and if all goes according to plan, it will send the custom recovery right over. Writing recovery, finished. Says it worked. I'm not seeing much over here showing that it worked. Let's hit the volume buttons and try to go to recovery mode. So you can navigate using volume and power. Oh, apparently it did work. And here we go, we've got custom recovery. Um, I think the reason that didn't uh, demonstrate anything is because I've already actually installed TeamWin Recovery Project. Uh, normally you would see a little notification saying that it had sent it over here. So from here we can go in and we can uh, do a factory reset, we can use a file manager, we can backup, wipe, restore the device, um, or install custom ROMs should there be any that you want to do. So at this point there's just a couple of, uh, as of November 6, 2013, there's a couple of Android open source builds that are available, but eventually we will probably start to see things like Paranoid Android, Cyanogen Mod, AOKP. In this case I'm just going to go ahead and restore from a backup that I made earlier, and what this will do is return the device to the conditions that it was in before I performed a factory reset and did all of this. So basically, um, my phone will go back to the way it was about two hours ago. So, swipe to restore, and here we go. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing showing how to unlock the bootloader, install a custom recovery, and root a Google Nexus 5.